day. We are very lucky today. I had my GoPro last year too. Yeah. yeah. Right down through there. That's what I couldn't see last time, and there's the cairn right there. Okay, this is definitely a lot more spectacular with you can see down the sides here. Very different than last time. I'm not really following the trail, but it's all pretty much the same. Hello. Let me just head down through here. You good? Thanks. Well, it looks like more people go this way, and I was walking that way. We're not. Uh, as long as we don't damage anything, we're good. Now, I might get into a little trouble from here, but I guess not. <laughs> Giant's Causeway here. Got lots of lots of boulders. We're good. Thanks. Stay on the rocks. How can you help but stay on the rocks? This is just beautiful. I'm loving this. Very well, how you doing guys? The knife edge is waiting for me, huh? All right, cool. Thanks. Heading over to South Peak right now. In the knife edge. Back at the peak and heading over to South Peak about halfway or so. Reaching a false peak in the middle of this ridge. There's South Peak over there. There's a good view of the Cathedral Trail and the cathedrals in the top of the mountain. Chimney Pond, almost on the South Peak right now. And up. I have to kind of stagger back and forth to get up things sometimes. And coming up to the South Peak, here we go. Little edge walk here, jumble of rocks, wouldn't want to get going on that. Not really on the trail, but again, I'm so close to it. And we're here at the South Peak. Not really a marker here, but this is it. And we'll keep heading down the trail. Now we are on the knife edge proper. It's a very proper place today. Going down the stairway to heaven, as I call it. The 
solid rock underneath all the jumble of rocks on the top of the south peak here. And down we go. So we're heading down to the knife edge. I guess this is technically part of it, but this is a four or five hundred vertical between the south peak and the, the rest of the knife edge. So just making my way down this carefully. Getting hurt up here would be darned inconvenient, so I am hoping not to. So still heading down from South Baxter. Knife edge stretches before us and there's Pomola and down the chimney pond. And it's just about noon. The view is spectacular. All the lakes are in view. Everything close and far. This trail is a jumble of rocks. There is no easy path along it. You gotta keep your wits about you and not make any mistakes. The poles are not as handy as I thought because they easily get caught between the rocks instead of going where I want them to. Place like this, yes. So we're going a little more level here. Definitely on the knife edge though. Heading down still. Or again. Good texture in the rocks. Narrow part here. Yeah, they're right there. I, I came up this part last year. I don't remember this at all. I just must have been just kind of blindly finding my way up it. But <laughs> or you blocked it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not very far down. It would only hurt. It wouldn't kill you probably. Ouch. Again, no instant death along here, just you don't want to fall. Just get hurt. Just go right down here. Along the edge. Great, thanks. How are you doing? Just waiting. I, th I think they ought to fill in the cracks with cement or something. Flatten us out just a little bit for us here. Can't they make it a little easier? Yeah. <laughs> Have a good time. You too. the top or you can go down the side doesn't really matter it's almost two-way traffic here anyway so. <laughs> sometimes I take the high road sometimes I take the low road yep Great, thanks. How are you? Hungry. Yeah, hungry and thirsty. There is a cure for that, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and back down again. So, very steep on that side. Plenty of room elsewhere. Oh, we go down this side here.
Hello. Hi there. Okay, we're progressing along the knife edge. Steep 50 feet down there or so. Straight along the top here. Hello. Hello. Shooting back along the knife edge and the top of the mountain. Getting to about the middle here. So we've got a couple of minor peaks and double there at Chimney, Pomola. Hmm, or maybe I need to go up that way. Yes, I do. So I go along the top of the edge here. Very fascinating. Not sure I want to jump from that one, so we'll go around. And sometimes you can just go around the side too, which is okay with me. So we're continuing on the knife edge. The trail looks pretty similar along, but the views are always changing, which is fabulous. Wow. Looking down through, we can see Chimney Pond right there. Here's a better idea of the Cathedral Trail. It goes right up through the, the boulders there, and then right up the ridge line. All the way up to the top. So going up the edge some more here. That appears difficult. Go over here. And up here. This is definitely a workout. Can't see Chimney Pond anymore. Almost at the top of this false peak here. So we're going up around the side here. Holding on. Cliff down that way.
lots of good holes right up through. Yeah. Don't want to stumble off there. everywhere as I go across here. It's good footing, but still, it's a little ways down. Figure you fall 200 feet and then you bounce. And bounce again a few times. I'm leaning into the rock at about 30 degrees or 60 degrees depending on the angle and absolutely no danger of falling unless I fainted or something. Pretty cool. that cliff from the side. You can also go around the back of the rock. You don't need to go anywhere near that cliff if you don't want to. There's a cliff right here and I'm also holding on very nicely right here. As one guy just said, I don't have a fear of heights but I have a fear of falling. There it is. So the trail's about eight, ten feet wide right here on either side. Let's go right down the middle. You don't you couldn't possibly fall off the edge. Hey guys, how you doing today? Good. Great trail, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So up on the edge again here, up on the edge. You are compelled, if you're on the knife edge, to walk along the edge of the knife. I would rather go up this than down it, so that's what I'm doing anyway. And we continue along the top. What an amazing trail. Definitely riding the Stegosaurus. Well, at age 60, I can still do this. Stegosaurus bony plates. Astounding. 
cameras going here. <laughs> so, well, not right now, but um, yeah, I think this is. I am not. I don't pretend to be a rock climber. I just I climb rocks as I hike. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna have to uh, fake it. I wonder how I came down this. I came down this last year, but there's that. Yes, they are. There's not really a good foothold. Got two right here. Okay. Let's press up with that. I've got two, three strong points, and I know I'm not going to fall, but I didn't do that as gracefully as I wanted to, and I'm getting a cramp in my leg, too. <laughs> okay, there we go. Awesome. That part is difficult. I see none of this easy stuff around the side. The trail goes right up the rock here. All right. I play fair. I play by the rules. Okay, they're all kind of slanted. 45 degrees. So I don't remember that coming down the other time, but going back up is definitely harder. Another thing to recommend coming the other way, which I enjoyed. Now we're on the side of Chimney Peak, uh, looking down at the Keep Ridge and Elon Taylor Trail. May go down that way, we'll have to decide. Come a long way already though. And heading up the last pitch here, almost at the top. When you grab a rock and propel yourself, you have to be careful which way you're going. When you... <laughs> All right, heading down Chimney Peak to the chimney. A lot of people going through right now, figuring their way. Just going to take it slow, no accidents. Yeah, keep on heading down. Going to do a little reverse climbing here at some point. Heading down, keep grabbing rocks. Yeah. Okay, this looks a lot steeper going down it than when it came up. Let's stick to the left here. Gotta reverse climb this. <laughs> Gotta find a place to put my foot. Got people coming down the chimney, right to there, and then following right up through. I'm gonna say it's gonna be easier for me to get up through there than it was to come down. So we're on top of Pomola again this year. I was going to go down the Dudley Trail. Part of being 60 is having the wisdom to know your limits. My limits today are that the Dudley Trail is not going to be fun and I'm not going to do it. And I'll live to hike another day. Okay, we're on the top of Pomola. Great day for pictures. There's the Keep Ridge. There's Sandy Stream Pond. No, there's Sandy Stream Pond. I think 
that's Katahdin Lake. And from the top of Pomola, there's South Turner. We were up there the other day, only we could see about 10 feet the other day, two weeks ago. But they have a great view of this mountain today. Heading down the mountain, looking forward to some cold drinks when I get to my car. around here a little bit more. I don't always see them when I'm up here. Just amazing. Probably can't do justice to them, but just gorgeous. Here's another example of creative cairn making. First you find a really big balanced rock and then you make a cairn on top of it. This is on the Helon Taylor Trail. Looking off the Keep Ridge at South Turner Mountain. And it's a little bit below us still, so I'm thinking we're at 3,300 feet or so right now. Looking back at Pomola. And on the way out from Roaring Brook Campground, the mountain just presents its majesty one more time.